And we're back and this time I'm going to show you the difference between an angular and a radial gradient in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start. We've got a black fill no stroke. On the view we've got when you snap the point and the smart that's activated. I use the ellipse or shift create a circle. Let's go to window and open the gradient menu and we'll add this default blue sky gradient. Let me edit it to the fill. So I swap the colors and I get rid of the stroke. So now it's only the fill that has this gradient and I give it a radial gradient. So this is quickly done. In Illustrator. And if I create a star, I'll shift and alt when I drag that. The radial gradient looks like this. But how can we create an angular gradient? There is not a direct function in Illustrator for that. Let me create another ellipse. Left click and I make it 250 times 250. I swap the color so that I only have a stroke. And I'll increase the stroke size. Let me go to window and I'll open the stroke menu. Make sure you've got it aligned to the center right here. Otherwise the effect doesn't work. Let me get to the gradient. And I'll add the same default gradient, but not as a fill. I want to have it as a stroke. So I'll swap the colors and here it is as a stroke and I'll get rid of the fill. Now let me get back to stroke. If I have it not aligned to the center, I can't use this function apply gradient along stroke. So make sure you've got it set to the center as an alignment for the stroke. And now you can do that. We need to have the same size for the stroke as the size of the circle, so 250 in this case. And now I'll make it linear. So as I type, and there is already this angular gradient. If I'll shift and rotate it, I can put the harsh edge to the top. And if you size it up and down, keep in mind it's a stroke, so the 250 points are always added. Let me increase the size holding shift and alt, and you can see this hole. Everything else is 250 points as a stroke added. I'll press Ctrl Z, and now I go to the center and drag a star holding shift and alt. I swap the colors. Let me make that black for now as I fill. You can see it properly. Press V for the selection tool, select them all, make sure the star is on top, then right click and make a clipping mask. And that's the difference between the angular on the left and the radial gradient on the right. So the radial can be done easily with input functions. For the angular, you need to trick a bit around using the stroke. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.